Yo, just saying. If you have ever been told when you were trying to get into a relationship with somebody that they didn't have enough time for the relationship, so that's why they're rejecting you. Or if they're trying to focus on themselves and that's why they rejected you. Or it's just bad timing. It's not a good time right now. That just means that they don't really give a fuck about you enough to actually make time for you. So therefore, you're not important to them. And that means that you move on and you get the fuck over it. Shit happens. Do not go changing yourself for somebody else. Do not freak the fuck out. They don't fuck with you like that. That's how life works. It's happened to me, and it fucking sucks. I'm like, God damn, this motherfucker does not have time for me. I'm not important to them. Accept it and move the fuck on. Get the fuck over it. Who cares? Then it's done after that. That's just an excuse that they use to make it seem like it's on them. But in reality, it's just they're not vibing with you. It's like, oh, yeah, I don't have time for you right now. I'm sorry, my life is so important and stressful right now. I have to focus on me. No. That just means that you're not important enough for them to focus on you. And that's how it works. And especially when they use the excuse, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Who the fuck just goes, I'm looking for a relationship. I'm gonna go find some random ass person to get into a relationship with. No, that shit doesn't happen. That shit always just happens like random. You're just like, oh my God, like for me, I'd be like, oh, this girl's great. Maybe I wanna have a relationship with this girl. You know what I mean? That's cool. Like it doesn't, it doesn't just, it just normally whenever that shit happens, it's random as fuck. Like that shit just happens. You're like, oh my God, feelings. Oh shit, oh, relationship, boom. No, it doesn't happen like, Huh, you know what? Today I'm feeling a relationship. I'm gonna go out and find somebody and then grab whoever the fuck I want and then that's how it's gonna go. No, that does not fucking work like that. So therefore, that excuse is the biggest fuck you excuse ever. And it's been said to me too, don't fucking worry about it. It sucks, I know. It's hard to accept things when people don't fuck with you like you fuck with them. But you know what? You accept it, you move on, you don't give a fuck, and you focus on yourself after that. That's how it works. Last thing is if you have feelings for someone and you haven't been telling them, dead ass go tell them. If you're afraid about what the answer could be, then you're never going to fucking know anyway. You feel me? If you don't say anything, you're never going to fucking know if they actually liked you. You might as well just, you, if you have that fear of rejection, that's okay. Like, I understand that shit really sucks when you get rejected. But wouldn't you rather get rejected than never know what could have been? You know what I mean? So it's better to get rejected and be like, alright, it's time for me to move on and stop giving a fuck. Rather than being like... Oh my god, I'm scared to know what this person's gonna say. I'm just not gonna say anything and just hide my feelings. Like, you know what? Nah, because that's just gonna fuck you over even more. Like, pain, like, you wanna avoid that pain because you don't want that initial, oh, rejection, oh, heart, oh, death. No, it's okay. That shit's gonna hurt for like maybe like two weeks and then you start forgetting about it. Maybe even a month or two, but think about it. If you're still hiding that feeling and shit, and then next thing you know, they end up going up with somebody else. That's going to hurt a lot fucking worse. Because you're going to be like, I should have done something. I should have said something. And then you're just going to be living in regret. You don't want to live in regret. Always take action. And if you feel some shit, go for it. Whatever happens, happens. You feel me? You can get over it. It's life. You got it.